guys, it's me, Gothic Republican LeVair. I haven't seen daylight for God knows when because I work third shift and you know how I am. Future of the night. By the way, you know, I made a, a video about uh, taking a knee assholes in the NFL. Uh, there's, for, there's one thing I forgot. I think people who take a knee in the NFL also. Yeah, it's your freedom of speech, but uh, it's my freedom of speech to say you're a dickhead. And also, I think you guys are sellouts because you're taking a knee because it, you know, the news media can pick up on it and NFL supports it. So I think you're just corporate assholes who basically just uh, take a knee and suck a dick. This took the bobbing cock of. Yep. Yeah. That's how I see you guys. I stand for flag because I'm proud of my country. Regardless of who is in office, you know. Besides the point on this is other video talking about the hundred different excuses why uh, Clinton has lost. And she, blaming everybody else to Obama, Bernie, the media, which the media was for her, <laughs> was for her, and she's colluding with the media so often that she blamed the media. The media had her back. Uh, she blamed everybody to uh, the voters, her voters, Bernie's, uh, Bernie voters, uh, the deplorables. She blames everybody else besides herself. This is a pure sociopathic asshole. She is a sociopathic bitch. And, you know, it's just... <laughs> She's like... Vlad the Impaler. She is a sick sociopath, psychopathic murderer, and she has, and she sits there and blames everybody else. You know, I would have been happy to have the first female president in our country, but Clinton is not a woman. She's still a little girl. She's not a real woman. She, a real woman takes responsibility for her actions. She is still a fucking girl. This is what I think about your fucking book, Mrs. Clinton. That's how I see it. And your Clinton clan of sociopathic, egotistical, moronic excuses. There you go, Clinton. That's to your book. Your book is a hundred different excuses. hundred different excuses why you lost. At the end of the day, you can blame everybody else, but really it's your fault. You have a bad history. You and your husband does. Not the fact that uh, <laughs> the email situation and also the media blatantly ignoring how you used to be a lawyer. You laughed at a rape victim. You killed so many people who were investigating against your email scandal. Benghazi. Oh, don't forget. Picking fights with Russia. Oh, I wonder what happened there. <laughs> oh, boy. And in your delusion. Your crazy delusion. And then blaming everybody else. You're making yourself look bad. Even the own Democratic Party tells you to shut the fuck up every once in a while. God's sake. And, you know, you have come across this arrogance. It's my time. It's my time. We need the first woman president. No, honey. We don't need a little kid brat like you, Mrs. Clinton, as president. You're not a woman. You're a girl. Okay? Grow up. Take responsibility for your actions. Your past bit you on your ass. And all the evil, filthy stuff that you used to did. They even saw, even, they even saw Mr. Donald Trump more appealing than you. <laughs> to you. And not only that, you backstabbed your own teammate, Mr. Bernie Sanders. Now, I'm not a fan of Bernie Sanders, Mr. Butthead Bernie Sanders, socialist jackass. But you know what? When you backstabbed him and you sell him out from the DNC and cheated against him. This is a man who spoke about truth, about situations, about issues that needed 
to be fixed. Talked about real issues. He spoke from the heart about issues that need to be fixed and the solutions which I disagree with. And I don't, I disagree with his socialist viewpoints. But at the same time, this is a person who spoke about the struggles about the common man, the common person in the world. He spoke to other people and he was a person who knew what was other people. And you fucking cheat him out from the DNC. That's why they don't want to vote for you. They hate you. That's why they went to independent parties. You don't blame Russia for it because Russia had nothing to do with it. It was your undoing of your ignorance, Mrs. Clinton. You and your little chubby chasing husband could go straight up kiss my fucking ass. And everybody else, American ass is also. You know? That's it. Because, you know what, you, you, you are so self-entitled, you feel like, you feel like you, oh, I, I should be president. You were celebrating before, before, you were celebrating before, before you even got the position, you know? And you know what, you're a Clinton clan member, you know, you're, you're part of the clan. This is because not the fact that you call black people the you call a teenager. Shut up. Let a white person talk. Then you said it on live television. And he had enough nerve to call Trump a racist, but you're a racist? He had staff that come out and come forward to media and sit there and said, yeah, Clinton's known for saying the N-word when she was in the White House to other employees. Not only that, was best friends with uh, Ryan Bird, which is a, a person who back in the 1940s was a clan member and a grand wizard. And your husband, Mr. Bill Clinton, said a racial remark towards Barack Obama when he was running for president. This guy should be getting our damn coffee instead of running for president. The things. There's a hundred different, there's a hundred reasons why. The, there's, there's a list goes on and on and on and on and on and on. The reason why people hate you, dislike you, despise you, even under Democrats, despise you, Mrs. Clinton. I'm surprised, hell, I'm surprised you didn't push a, I'm surprised you didn't pull off a George Bush Sr. and try to kill your competition, how George Bush Sr. tried to kill Ronald Reagan. I'm surprised you didn't do that to Bernie Sanders. So, I'll leave you for today. This kind of question here. What do you think is far worse? And I mentioned all these evil things that Clinton has done. I think we're better off with Trump. Way better off. My question to you is, all this pain and misery, all this bullshit of fighting this fucking of memes. Was it worth it to you? To cheat Bernie Sanders? Was it worth it to basically smear your competition as much as you can? Step on everybody on the way and finally got this close to it. It's not just away from you. It's a little thing called karma. Do you believe in karma? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you guys later. It's Gotham Republican here. Gotham. God bless America. Bye. Zombie Reagan! Zombie Reagan for president.